G'day, welcome to Matt's Workshop. Today's video is on the unboxing and setting up of an S&A water chiller. This is one of the necessary upgrades to my current laser setup in my workshop. As you may have seen, that I've been using a primitive method of cooling the laser that need to be improved. I've been using this Esky and uh, water pump with ice water. It's just really not effective. So Claybray Laser have sent me a CW5200 unit to replace my current setup and you can find this and other chillers on their uh, website at uh, cloudraylaser.com So we'll get it out of the box. This is the CW5200 unit. It came very well packaged with express freight from China. Have a quick look around the machine, front and back. And then pay attention to the water inlet and water outlet hoses on your machine so that you can attach them at the right port on the chiller. So this is the water inlet hose so it will attach to the outlet of the cooler. And the water outlet from the machine is going to be in to the chiller. After filling the water tank with uh, water, I add a couple of capfuls of bleach to the water to prevent algae and bacteria growth in the water system. Using distilled water alone doesn't prevent the growth of bacteria in the laser tube and the hoses and the water system because it's not a sterile and sealed system. During manufacturing, the laser tube and uh, machines are tested prior to shipping with water that is not sterile. Who knows what's in it? And those hoses are not then re-sterilized or sent in sterile packaging. So adding a couple of capfuls just helps prevent bacteria growth. Even in the last primitive system that I ran, I had a couple of capfuls of bleach in the cooling arrangement and the water stayed crystal clear for approximately two months after which I then replaced it with fresh water and a couple more capfuls of bleach. I'd just like to make the note that Anytime I refer to degrees in this video, I'm referring to degrees Celsius and not Fahrenheit. So let's take a quick look at the thermostat parameters. I'd like to draw your attention to code F3, the way of control. There's two options here, one and zero, one being intelligent and the zero being constant temperature. Intelligent mode will cool the water to three degrees below room temperature and this may be okay for some applications of this chiller but when I'm using it in with the laser in my case in the workshop temperatures reach over 35 degrees on a good day and this would mean that the cooling would still maintain the temperature in the plus 30 degree range which is not the best for my laser. The comp constant temperature mode is basically that I can set the water temperature at what I want it to be maintained at and then it will just maintain that between a plus and a minus from that set temperature. But if you have a look at uh, F0, the temperature setting range in F8 to F9, it's got code F0, temperature setting, range F8 or F9 to F8. If you look at the bottom of this chart, you'll see F8 and F9 are the highest and lowest allowed water temperatures. Their defaults are 20 degrees at the lowest and 30 degrees at the highest. So what this means is that if I want to change F0, I can't go below 20 degrees and I can't go higher than 30 degrees. So what I'll need to do first is change the setting for F9 to be a bit lower than 20. For example, if I want to set this at 18 degrees on F0, it won't allow me to. So we need to change F9 first, bring it at least down to 18 degrees, then go back and change F0 to be constant at um, 18 degrees. So what we'll have a quick look at this again. First of all, I'm going to go into the settings in a moment. I'm going to show you how to do a factory reset to put everything back to default 
And then I'll go in and change F3, the way of control. We'll set that to zero so that it's constant temperature. And then the F0, we're going to set that at 18 degrees. So firstly, I'll need to change F9 to at least allow 17, 18 degrees, and then go back and change F0. And I'll go through that and we'll go and set that up. So firstly, to do a factory reset, we need the machine off. We press and hold both the up and the down buttons, hold those in, and then power on the machine. This RE means that it has been factory reset. The next thing we need to do is get into the thermostat parameters. So to do that, we need to press the up button and the set button together and hold. This zero is asking for the password. The default password is eight. We then press set to select. These are the thermostat parameters, F0 through to F9 as we discussed earlier. First of all, we're going to go down to F3. Press set to select. We're going to change this from 1 to 0, and 0 being constant rather than intelligent. We now need to go to F9, select it and change this minimum allowed temperature down to say 15 degrees. And set. Now we need to look at F0. going to change this temperature, which is our constant temperature that we require, to 18 degrees. And press set. And now to save, you need to press the RST button and everything will be saved. This will now drop the temperature to the 18 degrees and maintain it at a constant temperature. So one thing I do want to show you is the water alarm. This, com this laser machine doesn't have a water flow sensor that uh, will alert me when the water flow is stopped. The water chiller, however, has a built-in alarm. So if I just uh, go to the back of the machine here and um, occlude one of the hoses, we should get an alarm that will sound to uh, alert us that the water is not flowing correctly. And as soon as the water flow is restored, the alarm will stop. So thanks for visiting Matt's workshop. In the description below, I've uh, included little timestamps on the description so you can jump between different sections of the video. It's just something that I've found useful on other people's videos, so hopefully you'll find it useful as well. I've included links to my social media websites as well as Cloudray Laser and uh, I've also included a link to the English version of a manual which is better than the little pamphlet that they sent with the machine. If you haven't already, uh, press the subscribe button, put the notification bell on to be notified when I upload new videos and if you found the video useful or helpful, press the like button. Uh, I'm quite happy to answer any comments or questions that you have, so leave a comment below. And until next time, take care. Cheers.